Happening right now, members of Houston's Jewish community are preparing for the start of Rosh Hashanah, the new year for people of Jewish faith. It comes nearly one year since the October 7th terrorist attack on Israel. It has also been nearly a year since the conflict in Gaza and the deaths of tens of thousands of Palestinians. Victor Hakobo joining us live. And Victor, I know you spoke with leaders of both the Jewish and Muslim communities. What are you hearing? Yeah, Elena Mia, I can tell you that they both share a year of pain having watched a conflict overseas play out and seeing its impact here at home. But they also share hope for an end to the fighting. <laughs> Rabbi Chaim Lazarov prepares for Rosh Hashanah services that begin today, which includes the blowing of the shofar, a ram's horn. He says the Holy Day prompts reflection of the past year, including the impact of the October 7th terrorist attack. So when we come into Rosh Hashanah and we're examining the past year and we're trying to turn a new page. On I think the most important uh, for this really challenging time is that we, we get to be together. Rabbi Joshua Fixler of Congregation Emmanuel says this year's High Holy Days come at a moment of painful reflection. The anniversary of October 7th falling right in between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur um, sits pretty heavy for my community. Lots of us are really... Um, struggling with uh, with how these prayers will feel this year. It's been incredibly difficult to watch. The conflict has also caused pain and suffering for Houston's Muslim and Arabic communities. Leaders of the Council on American Islamic Relations Houston chapter say the past year has sparked continued demands and outcry for American government leaders to take action to end the conflict. I think a lot of people are maintaining and holding on to hope that we see an end to the genocide in Gaza, but at the same time, you know, we're demanding action from our uh, elected officials today and on October 7th, just as much as we will as we were on October 7th, 2023. Nearly a year after October 7th, these communities express hope for a peaceful future. We are hopeful uh, in the most merciful creator that um, peace will be brought back. They're going into Rosh Hashanah. That's what we hope for. We hope for a world that's a better place a world that is full of peace. The Council for American Islamic Relations says it's going to be holding events this month in October to encourage members of its community to vote their conscience for the upcoming elections. Meanwhile, Rosh Hashanah begins at sundown. Live in Houston, Victor Hakabo, KHOU, 11 News.